Hey guys, Dan here from VHIX411. Today in front of me, I have a GM body control module. Now I have an original one, old, and a new one. And in this video, I will show you how to program the key information, the VIN number from the original one into a good used donor. Yes, used can be programmed. You don't need to buy a brand new one. Uh, if you need the service done, link at the description below and at the end of the video and I will show you how it's done. This is an easier one, and uh, this one's with an EEPROM, so I'll show you a quick video. It won't take too long. And as you can see, this thing is pretty flooded. Let me zoom in here. And you can't really see it on the connectors, but when you do open it apart, you can see all that nasty stuff over there, the corrosion and all the blue stuff. Now, I, I already did locate an EEPROM on this one, cleaned it up. That way we're not wasting time cleaning all of it and showing you how it's done cleaning. Now, why do we need to do this uh, cloning service is because if you install this, now some of these cars, if you installed a used BCM, let's say this used one, if you install it, it will jump the miles in the cluster especially uh, Cayenne and uh, GMC, uh, let's see, Cayenne, Canyon, I believe, and H3. Now, if you do install it, then I do have another video on how that's done. You'll need to program cluster back and the body control module that will, it will match your car's miles. So don't install it until you do the clone service first, because a lot of these GMs will jump the miles, then you end up doing the cluster also on that. And why we do this service is because VIN number will not match. You will get a bunch of lights on. And of course, if you did install it, the car will not start. The keys will not match. The ammo light will be on. Security light will be flashing. So you need the key information transfer from the original one to the good donor one. Now, I'll be using car probe for this one. There. And cleaned it up already. It is a... 24 C32 EEPROM. So I'll just set up my car probe 24 C32. And let's set up my clip. Set it up over here. Now this is already clean, so I'll just hold it, hold it together and click read. And as you can see, we're reading the information from the EEPROM. And boom, we are verifying, make sure we read it good. Yes, we did read it good. I'll just save it as BCM original one. So we read the original one. If you can see, here's the miles. Here's the coding information, the body, uh, the, part, the part members and all that coding for the body control module. And of course, all of the other coding information, including the keys. So. All the keys and everything is all in here. So what we're gonna do is set this aside. And I already also have this guy opened up. I do have my EEPROM already here. It's all cleaned up. And I will also read this one. Why we read it is because we wanna make sure we have a good connection and A, that's A, and B, we also want to make sure if the customer did confuse these two together, that way we can always revert back. Let's say BCM, I'll just put it as a new one. No, saved. And again, previous vehicle, car, VIN number, coding information, part number, key information, everything here. So what I'm gonna do, I'll just put BCM, original one. And we'll just open it up and you can see the VIN number is changing. Boom, change the VIN number. This is the original ECU information. So I'll set my EEPROM back on here, hold it together and I will push right. And it will transfer the keys. It will transfer the VIN number, transfer the coding information of the vehicle. A lot of times, even if the part numbers are same, the coding is different because dealer will code different options for the car. So all that will be transferred. 
and amo light will be off and the theft light will be blinking and the car will start and in this case it verified it good that means we've written it perfectly fine and that's how easy it is to do an eprom bcm eprom transfer from original to a good donor now the harder ones if it's like a processor these are a little bit harder not a little a lot harder you need special connections to connect to it to read it and you need a diagram and all that so i do have videos on that but this is an easier i just wanted to put it out there if you do need the service link below or at the end or if you have the programmer that's how easy you can clone the key information into your general motor chevy cadillac hummer whatever it is it's doable well do share do like these videos and i will see you in the next one thanks for watching